Welcome, everyone, to the final effort of me doing a Let's Play of Dead Space 3. What you just saw should have been what you see after the credits. It's the final ending. Mmm, so deep, right? You like it. That is how you like it. You're like, what was that? How does that happen? Mm -mm. Was it a dying breath, you think? Or was it life in space? I don't care. I have my own opinions of what happened and that's what I believe. Uh, welcome to the weapons crafting area. It's a place mode you can select in, in any mode where you have a bench, a weapon spawner, uh, and infinite health. So you can just, you know, try weapons, Try different circuits and, you know, explore yourself in space. It has the same gorgeous view of the Terran over there. It's beautiful. And you should be grateful that it's beautiful. So yeah, my Let's Play is done. Please let me know what you think of it. I know it's my first. It was very rough around the edges, especially in the beginning. With all the sound problems that I, I think I fixed them. I don't know. I'm not an engineer. Well, in the future, in space, I might be, but right here, right now, I do absolutely not class as a as a engineer or technician of any kind. So this is one of the weapons that I talked about in my Let's Play that I didn't show. It's what I call the anime weapon. It's a shotgun with a uh, supercharged hydraulic viscerator. It's called on the bottom. I will show you the specs later, but I want to show you first. This is a weapon that just shows an example of why I love rate of fire over anything. Let's show you the shotgun. No one can touch me. The second I see them, they're down. Not dead, but definitely down. Because all shotguns have this insane range on the knockback. Having a maxed out speed doesn't it doesn't matter how much damage it does because they'll they'll die before reaching you anyway. Uh, so this shotgun isn't maxed out in damage, only in as 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 much as I can increase the rate of fire. So as you can see, it's pretty sick, and nothing can touch me with a uh, knockback on that. So that is why I played hardcore using a shotgun, and I have pretty much. You know, not tried every weapon combination out there. There might be better ones, but at least this is my favorite comfort zone weapon. And here's the comedic effect weapon that I never ever use because it sucks, but it looks fun. This is what you can do when you have the ultimate circuits with rate of fire. Yeah, that's why I call it the anime weapon. Space Ninja! Yeah, uh, even the melee attachment does require ammunition because, you know, we're in space and in space everything's high-tech. And this is why I don't like melee attachments, I will show you. Okay, it works on normal necromorphs, but on the quicker necromorphs such as stingers, it does way too little damage. That's because I've pumped it up with the uh, rate of fire, of course. It can do higher damage, but then it'll be substantially slower. As you can see, it's really hard to hit sometimes. And as you can see there, you just glide past them when you attack that fast. So that's why this weapon sucks, but it looks funny. It looks really funny. And it's cool in its own way, I guess. Let's try it again, just for show. I mean, you do want to see it. I've been talking about it. On the normal Necromorphs, it does... It does slash them, especially if you have stasis coding, it will give you more time to slash at them. But as you can see, it consumes a lot of ammo, doesn't give you any room for error. And as you can see, he's still up. And on Necromorph Babies, Stingers, 
uh, and later in the game, the, the alien necromorphs, this is completely useless. And speaking of awesome that we haven't ever done, Here's uh, another weapon that I'm trying for the first time for this episode. I haven't used it in any of my playthroughs. It's a double barrel shotgun. Show it off. Come on, Isaac. Give me a pose. Yeah. How you like them barrels, Stacy Lee? So yeah, each has three ammo. I have maxed out rate of fire and clip for this one, not damage. It does have a safety guard and a w explosion amplifier on it. And let's see how it works in in practice. Having a, okay, no, there's more. Oh, there you are. The amplifier does give you some room to miss, and uh, the reload time is absolutely horrendous. I'll just show you the maximum rate of fire on this one. This is when you alternate between uh, primary and alternate fire because you don't want to empty one first because you don't want to cause a reload or you know any panic. And to keep the rate of fire at maximum, you do want to alternate in between. Then, uh, then you'll get this, which is pretty sick for a rocket launcher. You can also make a grenade launcher variant, but come on, rockets beat the grenades at any day. So you see it is pretty fast with uh, only using one. But uh, to avoid uh, to add a maximum amount of time avoid auto reload you do might want to alternate because it looks way cooler anyway because come on it's a double barrel for a reason. So I'm just gonna show you the specs real fast and then my let's play is done guys. I don't know what to do. Heavy Elite Mark II Overclocked Rocket Launcher with Mark II Overclocked Rocket Launcher. Yeah, that's quite a mouthful. It's the safety guard and the explosion amplifier. And here's the circuits. They're the same for everyone here. Mm. And here you see there's with damage, there's with reload, there's different combinations. And those are the ones I do believe you get if you get all the circuits. Correct me if I'm wrong or not, because, you know, I'm already done. What said is said? Uh, but they're, they're, they are some pretty sick ass good looking circuits. And here we have the Heavy Elite Shotgun. It's just a standard one with a good frame really. With Mark V Supercharged Hydro... Mark V Supercharged Hydraulic Eviscerator. With, which is the hydraulic engine with a precision tip. Mark V in my case because... Yeah yo! And the safety guard and stasis coding are because they max out my clip so I can keep going faster for longer without having to take a break. And here's some of uh, another combination here, which is damage and rate of fire. This is the ultimate. This is by far the best circuit because you can put it on a shotgun and make love to it. So that's, uh, that's the blueprints for my stuff, really. Um, notch, not notch. There it goes again. Not much more to say, uh, if you've watched my entire Let's Play, I thank you, and commend you really, for your persistence and strength of mind to survive it. Um, do tell me what you think of it, I do know my mistakes, the title intro thing is annoying, and I'll probably find another solution for my next project, which I don't know what it is yet, I'll talk about that in a later video. The sound issues were horrible the first pretty much half of the game and I do blame my capturing software for that and myself because I probably fucked up some setting and me being the least technical guy in the I, I know video games. I know video games and nothing else. I'm not good with computers or anything. So I probably fucked up some setting there. Uh, which is uh, why I had problems with my sound. I think I fixed it pretty much later on in the game. Uh, and uh, I know, I do know that the later parts in the game grew more and more juvenile as they progressed. And I uh, I was going to say, I'm not going to do that. Maybe I am. It depends on the game. The more fun I have, the more juvenile I get, really. So you're going to have to expect some of that. I'm not going to be all professional-like. There are better Let's Play players that do that. Uh... But yeah, 
Um, tell me what you think of my let's play. Tell me other things. Just tell me anything, internet. Really, anything. I feel so alone here in the emptiness of my home, which isn't my home because I'm... I still haven't got my apartment back because of the mafia. They took my apartment. Um, yeah. And for the last time, from Isaac Shepard, with Isaac Shepard, I mean, let's get a really good ending background here. This is Isaac Shepard, forever stranded above Tau Volantis. Thank you for watching my Let's Play. And if you didn't watch my Let's Play, at least thanks you for looks at this. Thanks. Um, I hope we'll have many adventures together. I really hope we do. Or else it'll just be me and my laptop and my microphones. But you know, that's good enough for me, I guess. But do watch. Watch. Subscribe. Favorite. Comment. Like. Anything. Just let me know that you're watching, man. Girl. Dude. Thing. Thank you for watching my Let's Play. I wish you the best of days, the day of days, the night of nights. And I will see you in my future. And I hope I do have a future on YouTube because, you know, mm, what else am I gonna do? Work? No. Work and play video games. Okay, I've been um, taking up enough of your time. Thank you for watching. I will see you later. And shout out to all you guys who freaking subscribed during the period of the making of this video. You're great. You're awesome. If you didn't subscribe by watching this anyway, then you're a parasite. But I love you anyway. Because I love even parasites who watch me. Thanks for giving me the attention I so desperately crave. I will end this part now and I will see you in the future. I bet I will. Thank you. Kissy kissy bye bye. Laters.